Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be opening this Series 11 Halo Arbiter. Um, it also comes with the pretty hard to find Hunter, but I'm going to open this guy and we're going to make something with it, so let's get right into it. Right here, opens it up to the back, and get his two energy swords. So yeah, this is the Arbiter, um, pretty sweet figure, I like the double energy swords, I think he looks good. So now I'm going to make something to actually like give him a little bit of a cooler mock, so let's get Hey everyone, welcome back, and today we're going to be working on a small cool mock, at least I think it's really cool, so we're cutting out these bricks, and what these bricks are going to basically be are layering uh, tiles. And this is going to be like a cliff face. So I kind of staggered it back each time. I used three. And then I took my big knife here. If you use something like this, please be careful. And I just started chipping away at these little pieces of bricks. And these little styrofoam balls came off. And then I glued this sucker right into place on a small piece of EVA foam on the bottom. Then we started painting right away. I painted a base coat of black like I do with pretty much everything. And once that was done, and I also had a small rock at the right, I used some gray. And uh, it's always funny to hear the noises that this that come off of this when I'm using, uh, when I sped it up 400%. But, and then I base coated it with some white, with a little white dry brushing to give it a little bit more flare and texture. I do that all over this piece. And then I added white glue, and this white glue is going to hold on the flocking or the sawdust that we use for the uh, grass effect. As you can see here, I just have some sawdust, and I just basically pour it on, but I've mixed it with paint, green paint, and other colors as well, like other shades of green, to put it on there. And I'll also go, re go back over it and uh, fix the parts that actually just look like, you know, wood chippings. Uh, that's going to take a, yeah, it's just not going to take very long, as you can see with this step, just putting on some green and stippling it to make this look a little bit different than just all the same color. And sorry if I'm kind of sounding a little low energy, I just helped my brother install a dock, and that took like nine hours of just heavy lifting, and I'm very tired. So this are, these are little branches that I got off a tree outside. I just trimmed the tree branches. I didn't harm the tree too badly here, but I thought it would look really good in this little setup, so I figured, you know, I would give it a shot. And then I added the arbiter on the very top, and then I started adding the dead roots. I made this brute a long time ago, probably about a month ago on my channel. If you want to go check that out. It's about 10 videos down. Um, I can also put a link if anybody really wants. And then I painted some... <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. This is done. It's finished and I think it looks really, really good. Um, a lot of the basic tactics are the same things that we've been doing. The sawdust, which is what this grass is, is actually looking really, really good. I think it ties this piece in really well. It was going to be all rock, but I was just not feeling that as much. I didn't think that was really something that I was super adamant about. So. I put on some grass, I added some blood splatters where the brutes have fallen and uh, pretty much, you know, died, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to make a really cool scene where the Arbiter just kind of has his two swords out slashing his way through brutes to kind of get to the Prophet of Regret or even the Tartarus, which is in Halo 2. But yeah, thank you so much for tuning in if you did and sticking all the way to here. Uh, it means a lot. 
put a lot of work and time into these little mocks and videos and you know, I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Every subscriber I get is always a little boost and makes me put out the next video just a little bit faster in my eyes. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you all next time.